Good morning, folks. This is an electric asteroid. Kind of looks like a comet to me. NASA is now investigating the elusive last tidbits of information about nearby asteroids that will fill in our gaps in understanding the electrical interactions. It's a happy day for the new electric universe theories. If you're unfamiliar, this isn't your old ether field nonsense. This is only about evidence, has a heart in the Thunderbolts project, and I see a convergence with the mainstream on the horizon. If you are a veteran observer, you may recognize this as the full disk views from the GOES satellite, both east and west. And now, they can use their various analyses to enhance these for us. They will be part of GOES Project Science, and are just one more way we're seeing our world better than ever. Quick note, I really dislike when they turn these buoys off. It was bad enough they removed the buoy to the north. Come on, BOM, turn this one back on. Five days, 26 lives lost. Billions worth of damage from non-stop deluge in China. When the system hit Japan, it piled up hail 10 centimeters high. We can see strong convergences across both South America and South Africa. Both could bring localized storms and flood threats to lower runoff areas. If it looks like most of the bad weather has been south here, you are correct. The systems keep churning, but now with a new convergence drawn to the northwest coastlines. Europe. I wish I had a different story, but it's that same convergence from the North Atlantic, along with a ton of pop-up storms across Southern Europe. Coming to the United States, that's a lot of energy carried north here. The heat setting in enough for these storm watches to really ramp into Canada as well. It's getting to be that time of year. We had an eruption on the sun that was directly Earth facing, but not at all Earth directed. The filament squared up to Earth, released the emergency brake, destabilized, and went just about due north. It would have been a smaller impact, but instead, we'll sail north into space. We took a gamma ray burst early this morning from near the southern celestial axis, as far south as you get in the sky. Solar flaring? Nil. Nada. Nothing. And the sunspots tell the tale. They have kept the magnetic separated like a middle school dance with red negative doing its own thing and the same with positive blue. The mixing is what triggers that flaring. Solar wind showing a clear density shock followed by a speed rise, so likely a coronal stream, but the speed barely is cracking the upper 300s in kilometers per second, so there won't be any geomagnetic storms even though the more sensitive meters indeed show the space weather interactions. You will remember how the coronal fields danced it was quite the shift. Well, this is what it looked like on ISWA's magnetic connectivity, the portion used to gauge the force of the coronal holes. There is a high state of flux here and I wouldn't dare try to guess what it's doing next. Perhaps it'll finally settle down and enter the next solar cycle. Just because that filament didn't come our way doesn't mean we didn't see a terrific solar tsunami beneath it. The incoming filament may give us more to watch from the south here soon as well. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.